Way back in ancient days, there was something called a cassette tape. Well, actually, it was introduced in 1962. It played our favorite tunes. Now, we play music on our phones. Who would have thunk? But it's time to bring the cassette tape back and hack it. You'll only need a few things for this cassette MP3 hack. Obviously, a cassette tape, a cheap MP3 player, some momentary switches, and some magnet wire. This little MP3 player uses a micro SD card. It also has a USB port and a headphone jack. So the first step is to take this little MP3 player apart. The top pries off pretty easily, and then we'll muscle out that circuit board. And you'll end up with a circuit board and the rechargeable battery. Using my soldering iron, I'm going to remove that audio jack because we're going to need to move it. Now it's time to get into the cassette tape. And this one has five screws. Boy, I remember taking these apart and actually fixing the tape when it would break, sometimes even splicing it using little bits of scotch tape. Ah, those were the days. Inside a cassette tape, you'll find this little magnetic shield and also the pressure pad. This pushed the tape up against the head so you could hear audio. We're going to remove everything on the inside, including these little rollers that are the tape guides. For now, I'm going to unsolder the battery. We'll put it back in place in a little bit. And our little circuit board will fit right here inside the cassette tape. Now it's time for the magnet wire. Now, if you're not familiar with this, it's basically a copper or aluminum wire coated with a very thin layer of insulation. It's used in motors, speakers, electromagnets, and anything that requires tight coils of wire. We'll cut 10 small pieces of that, then it's time to remove that layer of insulation. I found the best way to do that was to use an X-Acto knife and just scrape around the wire until it's all gone. Then I soldered two wires to each of our momentary switches. To get to the little buttons on the MP3 board, this little plastic piece peels off removes the metal covers, and reveals each individual switch. There's fast forward, rewind, volume up and down, and stop. So we'll solder the wires from each of our momentary switches to each of these switches. We're basically just extending them so they can be relocated. Now we're going to do the same thing with the audio jack we removed earlier. Three wires will go to the audio jack, and then those three wires will go to the original locations on the board. All right, it's time to put everything back inside the cassette tape. We've hot glued the circuit board in place and we're going to do the same for the audio jack. Now the five control switches are going to be located at the front of the cassette tape. They'll be hot glued in place as well. All five with easy access to the controls. Now it's time to get our power back in place so we'll re-solder our battery to the circuit board. I removed the tape and had to bend the cover a little bit so it wasn't quite as thick. And some double-sided tape will hold that battery in place. We're going to be using the original take-up reel and supply reel to give it that realistic look. So those were cut and trimmed to fit in place and hot glued down. To get access to the original power switch, I just trimmed the window in the front so I could stick my finger in there and flip it on. Okay, magnetic shield back in place and the pressure pad is put back in and it's time to seal this baby up. It snapped together perfectly and I tightened it down with the original screws. The trimmed case allows access to the USB port, micro SD port, and the audio jack. It works like a charm and it's a lot of fun. So that's how to hack a cassette tape to play MP3s. Check the link in the description for how you can build your very own. Oh, and if you want to learn a little bit more about the legendary 60s, you need to listen to this audiobook, The Me Generation by Me. And you can get it at Audible. They have over 150,000 titles in every genre imaginable. And you can listen anytime, anyplace with the free Audible app on your phone or tablet. And for Kip K fans, you can get a free audiobook by going to audible.com slash Kip K right now. Now, when you do that, not only do you get a free audiobook, but you're helping me make more videos for you. That's audible.com slash Kip K. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.